Why would I have a five gallon bucket of dog crap? Well, when we collect from our dog, we use these compostable bags and then I layer uh, uh, dog waste, wood chips, or uh, uh, shavings, wood shavings, sawdust. And then I layer it, layer it, layer it until I fill a bucket up and then seal the lid and let it sit for six months to a year. And then when you open the bucket back up, what you'll have will more resemble soil than it will dog poop bags. This soil then is mixed with our tree compost or the compost that we're gonna use on um, non-vegetable areas. And it's, then we have fertilizer. So instead of throwing all these bags, which you're seeing one layer here, instead of throwing all these bags in a dump, we're reclaiming the nutrients from it. We're recycling the materials. We're capturing all the uh, methane that might be produced and we're turning it into soil. So I'm gonna finish this cap off by capping it off with um, wood chips and uh, we, we have wood shavings, sawdust, that kind of stuff. You need a, a large amount of carbon. And then I'm gonna seal the lid. You can already see that moisture accumulates in the lid. Well, that moisture will recycle. It'll create a, a little microclimate and it'll cycle through there. And in about six months, it'll be pretty much soil. Um, I may put it into a worm bin before it goes into the composting area, but most likely I'll dump it into a bulk compost. So this will end up being a tiny fraction of the overall materials that are in a large uh, bulk composting pile, probably about two cubic yard pile. And then that'll be broken down additionally through some heat cycles. The heat cycles are important. And then put around trees and uh, probably ornamentals outside of the garden areas. So what we're doing here basically is we're recycling dog poo. And it's a very common system. It's, I base this, if you need more details about this, I base this system on a, uh, a bucket composting toilet. And uh, you know, I, don't, I don't sprinkle any enzymes in there or anything, I just put the sawdust in. And it works pretty well. And I will show you in six months what this one looks like. And we've done this with other types of manures. Uh, but uh, I don't have pictures of that to show you right now. So stop throwing your dog poo in the, in the, to the waste or the dump and don't bury it in the ground. Instead, uh, compost it in an environment where it can be, be then useful or have some value to your homestead.